So I have a few uh, PSA cards here. These are baseball. Um, only three of them this time. I would have had a couple more, but a couple auctions did not go my way. Let's start from uh, newest to oldest. I guess these will all be considered vintage. Maybe not this first one, but it depends on what... I guess it's all subjective. But first up I have this uh, Dale Murphy. Uh, 1979 Tops and a PSA 9. And I like this card because it's the first card of him on his own. And two previous versions of Dale Murphy, he's uh, sharing the card with other people. So uh, this is from 1979. And one of those players that's put up great numbers, but probably won't be in the Hall of Fame unless he gets, I don't know, written in at some point. Um, okay, up next, uh, card number two is this 61 Tops Ernie Banks in my uh, favorite uh, 60s grade of 7.5. But I'm not exclusive to that grade, as you'll see in a minute. But I do kind of target this from a combination of quality and value. I think 7.5 is a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good value for the quality of the card that you get. And um, that's Mr. Banks there. back that off a little bit. Finally, this one happens to be a PSA 8. And I've got a couple of 8s from the 60s, but none as good as this one. It is Roger Maris from 1965 Tops. A real sharp card. High grade. Got the brand new holder. And uh, that's it. So I was hoping to have a couple more cards in the mix here, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, stay tuned though, if you like, uh, especially if you like basketball cards, I've got a real treat coming up here in the next few days that um, I, think you'll, uh, I think you'll like quite a bit. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will uh, talk to you later.